Hi, have you ever ordered something online and then obsessively refreshed the tracking code page? This is currently happening with me, but luckily my copy of John Green's The Fallen Our Stars should be here tomorrow. I know at the end of the video I put up last week, and by last week I mean two weeks ago, I said that my next video would deal with the topic what I would do with the time machine. But because I like inconsistency, uh, I'm going to talk about something else today. I'd rather talk about movies. More specifically, two of the greatest movies never seen by the general public. I told my friends about this first one, and I can already hear them cringing. The movie in question is Jerry Lewis's The Day the Clown Cried. Originally shot in 1972, but no one's ever seen it. I don't even understand why it's so controversial. It's only about a clown in a concentration camp that leads the kids into the death chambers, Pied Piper of Hamlin style. I mean, there's nothing offensive about that. Actually, it sounds very offensive, and that's one of the reasons this movie has never been seen. Yet, for some reason, Jerry Lewis has never actually abandoned this project, and he still actually wants to release it. Personally, I think this movie will probably never be released, but if it were, I have to admit I'd see it. It's kind of like the boy in the striped pajamas, except there's a clown in the lead role. I'm going to hell for that last joke, aren't I? Anyway, on to the second of the movies I want to talk about. In the 1970s, one of the most popular franchises was the Smokey and the Bandit series. And in 1983, a third movie was planned. The original name for the third movie was to be Smokey is the Bandit, having Jackie Gleason playing his role of Buford T. Justice, and the role popularized by Burt Reynolds, the character being known as the Bandit. The studio greenlit this idea, and the entire movie was filmed with Jackie Gleason playing two characters. Because test audiences received this movie so poorly, they brought in Jerry Reed to play both the character of Snowman and the character of the Bandit. I'm surprised Universal has never been sued for false advertising. I mean, the movie poster does say the Bandit is at it again, and Burt Reynolds only appears for less than a minute in this movie towards the end. Anyway, that's all for now. If you enjoyed the video, then give me a thumbs up, uh, share with your friends, and perhaps subscribe uh, if you'd like to. I'm going to try to put up more videos.